Searching by foot and by air as far away as the San Juan Islands and Puget Sound, but crews still haven't found any signs of Jennifer Houston. It has now been one week since the Dundee mom, Dundee mom disappeared. Tonight, her friends tell us it's not likely she wanted to disappear because she was making plans for her future. Jessica Morker talked with them tonight, and she is live in Newburgh. Well, Dan, we found out that Jennifer Houston was planning her anniversary, which was coming up in two weeks, and also her son's birthdays were coming up, which makes it, makes it all the more puzzling and important to find this Dundee mom. She was planning her anniversary. She asked my sister to babysit like a month or two ahead of time. Amanda Johnson and her father, Matt Johnson, have known the Houston family for years as former neighbors. I think their anniversary is the middle of August, so it's in two weeks. And as close friends who attend social events together as couples and help babysit each other's kids. Our kids played together. The kids spent time together. Um, we've been to their house. They've been to our house. Nothing makes sense about what what situation might has ha might have has happened um, it's just it's unexplainable since last friday the johnson family has been helping the houston family whenever they need it watching the family's sons as police launch their investigation it's just it's unexplainable people just don't vanish now a week later the search for jennifer houston and her green lexus suv has expanded they've given us three areas to search involving countless agencies who've scoured parts of Tillamook, Marion, and Yamhill counties. State police have searched all of Oregon's major transportation routes, including state parks and highway pullouts. Jennifer Houston's favorite vacation spot, the San Juan Islands off the Washington coast, are also being searched, but still no signs of the 38-year-old mother. Houston left her Dundee home last Thursday to run errands. Police can account for her whereabouts at a Rite Aid, ATM, and gas station until her phone shut off at around 6.35 Thursday evening. Friends say she would never leave her kids. I hope she's okay. I hope, mm. hope we can find her. Um, but it, it's very troubling. So the search will continue tomorrow morning, but we've learned after a flight here in Yamhill County, search efforts will wrap up here in Yamhill County because they search most of the areas, unless, of course, some significant development does come up. Uh, but at this point, uh, nothing has come to fruition. Live in Newburgh, Jessica Morker to Coin 6 News.